I'm at the Torvine Care Centre in Pontypool. Uh, I'm just uh, about to meet some volunteers and the manager of the, uh, the centre and uh, we're going to see and hear about the good work that they're doing and, uh, and how, they, uh, how they see uh, things going forward. Can you uh, just introduce yourself for the viewers? Yes, my name is Jenny Bajic and I am the voluntary manager of Torfine Carer Centre. I've been a carer myself for the past 42 years and my daughter has quite profound uh, disabilities so I know what it's like to be isolated and to be uh, on your own basically with nobody to talk about your problems with. Social workers do a great job, but they are always concerned about the people that they are looking after. They always ask you how the person is that you are looking after, but nobody ever asks you how you are. And my aim for about 20 years was to find a building that I could open and bring carers to and it would be our own place and we'd be able to discuss amongst ourselves things that were happening in our lives um, to ease the isolation you feel to be able to signpost people to services that they actually need and to make life generally a little bit easier and I think that is what we do here we're situated in the centre of town it's a very pleasant place to be it doesn't feel intimidating, there are no clipboards here, no suits. It's just carers, caring for carers. And uh, it's run on a voluntary basis. All my helpers here, we're all volunteers. They're either carers or ex-carers. And um, we offer a really good service. You, you were a carer yourself um, for many years and you became a volunteer at, uh, at the Carer Centre. Um, would you mind telling us uh, why? Uh, what well, I started you? coming to the Carer Centre in 2005 when I became a carer. Before that, I was unaware that I was classed as a carer because I was just a mother. Um, my son unfortunately died in 2008 and I was so impressed by the work that was going on here I decided to continue coming here and I've been a volunteer um, ever since. I really enjoy coming, there's a wonderful atmosphere here um, and everybody is um, sympathetic with new carers when they come in. <laughs> Stop. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. That's all right. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Thanks very much, Jenny. Um, could, do you think it'd be all right to take a tour of the place? Yeah, certainly. So you can see what facilities we have. Here. Um, as you can see, it's quite a friendly space. Uh, it's comfortable. Um, this is our little kitchen area here where we prepare teas and coffees and um, the occasional buffet and things like that for people who come in. It's uh, beiju but quite nice. So uh, that's, that's cheap tea, 50p. Yeah, 50 pence, yeah. This is Peter. He's been with me Hi, Peter. for uh, quite a number of years. He's my meter and greeter. Peter used yeah. to look after his mum. Unfortunately, she passed away with Alzheimer's. Yeah. And uh, he's been coming up as a volunteer ever since. Yeah. So, uh, nice to meet you, Peter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I work on the desk. I work on the desk here, and also I, I'm up and down. And, uh, I just um, try to look after people answering the phone. Mm. Usual reception, but <laughs> brilliant. All for free, isn't it, Peter? Oh yeah. Well, everyone, everyone's yeah. works for free here. Mm. This is our meeting room. Um, we hire it out to groups or uh, whoever wants it. Basically, if they need it for training or anything like that, it's available, and it's a very low cost. So we've got the um, the IT the suite. suite in here. Yeah. So what happens in here? Uh, on a Wednesday now they come up, we get people from the job centre and um, carers, if they want, they can have computer lessons every Wednesday. 
but they can use the computers any day. It's, it's freely available to them any day of the week, really. Oh, cool. This is our quiet room. So if people need to come up and speak on a one-to-one -one basis with somebody or to have their carers' assessments or whatever done, social services can use it. And our counsellor uses it every week to um, offer counselling to carers. You could it's do with more counsellors though, couldn't you? Yeah, we need more counsellors. Counselling is a, is a big deal for carers, especially, you know, if you're looking after somebody um, where the only outcome is death or whatever, you know. People always need someone to talk to just to see them through the bad times. And counselling is a big thing. Hmm. No, it's a nice room. Yeah. It's calm. The, uh, the therapy room now then, have we? Yes. And so uh, what do we use this, this room for then, uh, Jenny? This is for carers. Um, they make appointments and either Liz, she's our uh, main therapist, our chief therapist, I want to call her, and Amy, um, they come different days of the week. And we've got a new uh, lady who comes now on a Monday or a Tuesday. So this room is available three days a week for carers to uh, receive um, therapies, but it has to be done by appointment. At the moment, we can't offer people just um, any time. You know, it has to be done by appointment. So how many how many uh, carers do you find? How many clients do you get um, using this this sort of this therapy? It all depends. You know, we can have. I think we've got about oh, coming up to 70 people wow. on our list who've taken advantage over the last couple of years, but it is growing all the time. But because each session takes about an hour, you're limited to how many people can come in mm. at one time. Yeah. And because uh, uh, Liz and Amy do other things during the week, they can only give us those two days. So how, how important do you feel? Um, therapies like the ones you offer here are to carers? It's essential because you know sometimes you get so stressed out and your your days they are so regimented and you're not allowed to have any time for yourself even if you get uh, someone like Crossroads going into your house they're only there for a limited amount of time so everything that you need to do during that day has to be done in that limited amount of time mm. and this is one place they can come they can lie on the table relax they go to sleep some of them some of them just relax and they just chill out and feel a lot they actually feel so much better when they leave uh, hi um could you talk through what uh, what treatments you offer here in the carer center I could. Um, I work here on a Friday and Amy works here on a Thursday and both of us provide um, massage, aromatherapy massage and reflexology. Okay, um, so um, from a carer's perspective, <laughs> let's go on. From a carer's perspective, how important are these therapies to, uh, you know, in improving their general well-being? Well, from the feedback that I get um, for some of uh, our carers, it almost seems it is vital for them. Uh, when they come here, they have an opportunity to, if you like, step out of their everyday routines and come into an environment where we are solely there just for them and mm. for them to feel just a little bit pampered, if you like, mm. and, and um, there hasn't been one person so far who has gone away feeling either disappointed or any of those feelings. Um, the response has been very, very positive, and as I say, for some of our uh, carers, they, they see it as, as a, a lifeline and wait for the, you know, sort of anxiously wait for the next treatment. Well, yeah, it's, it's an important um, thing. Me time is an important thing when you're a carer because obviously a lot of your time is dedicated to uh, a loved one, another person, and 
so often they find very little time for themselves. Um, so yeah, th this sort of treatment is is it's, it's fantastic crucial for, for some people. Yeah, it's a real pick me up. <clears throat> definitely, definitely. Thanks for showing us around, Jenny. Uh, welcome. Anything you'd like to leave us with? No, I just like to make people aware of why we are here, and if they do have any care and responsibilities, uh, please come in and see us. And I'm sure you'll be surprised, and you'll go away feeling a lot better.